Hello, I'm Vigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Tuesday and welcome back to Pay in Problems. Let's talk about becoming a builder. Today's discussion really applies to people in general, but this is a pagan channel. I have largely a pagan audience, so we're going to do a bit of brainstorming from a more pagan point of view. But without a doubt, building something constructive in our society is the task of people of all backgrounds. And this isn't going to be a depressing analysis of all the things that have gone wrong and why. This is about looking forward. I mean, yes, it is important that we understand what brought us to this point and why, but at a certain point, we've got to redirect our attention to taking practical action to fix what can be fixed, replace what m must be replaced, and to set aside those things whose time has passed. Now, we are several generations into the modern resurgence of paganism, and I think it's only right that we claim our seat at the table. We are part of society, and we have inherited a massive treasure trove of wisdom from our pagan forebearers and we have something worthwhile to contribute. What trips people up, I suspect, and please tell me if I'm wrong, is a lack of self-confidence. It isn't pessimism or lack of ideas, but individuals honestly feeling like they don't have what it takes to build, be a builder, and to participate in the evolution of our society. So hopefully, this video will help people reconsider that assumption and to come away with a better opinion of their own capabilities. Now, the beautiful thing about humanity is that we are individuals. We're not interchangeable parts and we're not all the same. Different personality types tend to have different strengths and there's all manner of knowledge and skills people can learn. <clears throat> And the result is that we can bring all of that together and hopefully and ideally we end up getting the right person in the right job and then once we do that incredible results can be achieved now i forget the 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 name of what this school was or or where it was but i believe that there was an ancient arab school so fact check me because Middle East, India, I'm not sure. I think it was there uh, somewhere in Arabia, but, you know, my memory is a little shaky. But the point is, of this school is that it had a motto, that in that school, that no fish were expected to fly, no birds were expected to swim. Essentially, there was a recognition that each student was different, and the job of the teacher was to help the student develop their natural capabilities, not to browbeat them and try to force them into conforming to some predetermined mold and try to become something that nature was never going to allow them to be. And I love everything about that mentality. It recognizes reality and it promotes a mindset that encourages the pursuit of the kind of excellence that the individual is capable of. And I see that ideal being embraced by my fellow pagans. We know that not everyone is going to be a witch or a shaman or a priest. Not everyone is going to become a teacher and not everyone is going to be the next pagan composer, artist, or writer. Not everyone is going to get really deep into obscure knowledge. Not everyone is going to be more grounded and be intensely good at practical application and not everyone is going to be the person who figures out how to build and fund a pagan temple that people can gather at but all of us have something we can offer to our community that makes us better and makes us whole now this is where the uncomfortable bit comes in because we're going to be turning that mirror around to ourselves and facing the reality that our life is not a spectator sport and we can't just give up on ourselves and just watch as everyone else passes by we have got to get involved. We've got to get invested. And naturally, it only makes sense that we concentrate our energies in a direction where it will be most productive and produce the greatest results. So what are your talents? What are your skills and your strong points? What has been your life experience thus far? And what has that experience taught you? And don't sell yourself short on this. Don't be too modest. You have richer soil within you than you may be giving yourself credit for. <clears throat> Excuse me. And most of all, don't worry about trying to replicate what other people are doing or have done. What they're up to, that's them pursuing their strengths. I mean, at least hopefully that's what they're doing. The only question you need to worry about is what do you have to offer? And then once you figure out what that is, the fun begins. How can you express that? And this will be different for each person. For some, uh, it will be community outreach or public commentary or writing books and things of that nature. For others, it will be more manifested in the arts or in the realm of crafts. Uh, perhaps you are very practically minded. 
And you'll end up being that person who ultimately gets involved in the building of pagan spaces or organizing pagan festivals that are actually pagan and not woke rallies. So of course, finding your niche and getting involved in it is going to take time. I mean, we don't plant acorns and then expect to see a 50 foot oak tree the next morning. And right now where we're at, we are in the season of planting for the long term future. Uh, at least that's the signs I've been getting as well as many of the other pagans in my circle. This is the time when we plant the seeds and begin nurturing that harvest will be on down the road. And sometimes it can be very psychologically helpful to let go of that desire and that need to, to have more immediate results or instant gratification. Some Sometimes this isn't about, you know, over deficiency of look how quickly I accomplished thing. Uh, it's more so about what did I create that is going to actually last. And that attitude is something that will serve many of us very well going forward, that we need to focus on bringing our best qualities and our talents to build something that is going to last, that is going to be worthwhile over that long period of time. So what will you choose to do? And I hope you will see fit to share that with me in the comments or that you will come over onto Gilded, join our group, get acquainted with us and start tossing around these brainstorming ideas and sharing what you do and uh, coming around to the idea that uh, maybe we aren't just these atomized practitioners. Maybe we can form connections and without giving up our individuality, without, you know, forgetting about our own spiritual independence. But choosing to come together and work together to have something that enables pagans to have a more solid future. So I hope you're up for that. Uh, but that will do it for this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.